Welcome to another great video by Exam Sam Study Aids and Media. In this video, we're going to see an Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test. The Algebra Practice Test will be for the next generation Accuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics exam. Here are the instructions to the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test. This video provides an Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test for the next generation Accuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics exam. You will see 10 questions on each of the algebra concepts included on the Accuplacer QAS exam. The answers and solutions are shown after each question. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test Question 1. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is B. You'll see questions on rate like this one on the Accuplacer Algebra Test. To calculate rate, divide the capacity by the time as shown. Let's go to the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test Question 2. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is A. First isolate the whole numbers by subtracting 50 from each side. Then get rid of the denominator on the fraction by multiplying each side by 5. Then isolate the remaining whole numbers by dividing each side by 3. Then add 15 to each side to eliminate the negative number. And finally, isolate the unknown variable as a positive number to solve. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test Question 3. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is A. Looking at each of these three terms, we can see that each one of them has at least x, y as a common variable, so factor out x, y. We can also see that each of the integers has a common factor of 6. That is because 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, and 6 times 8 is 48. So factor out the common factor of 6 to solve. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test Question 4. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is B. Remember that a negative exponent is always equal to 1 divided by the variable. In other words, x to the power of negative y is equal to 1 divided by x to the power of y. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 5. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is A. Using the distributive property of multiplication, multiply the terms as shown below. When multiplying each of the two terms, you need to remember to multiply the integers, but add the exponents. So, for example, 8 times 3 is 24, and b to the power of 2 times b to the power of 4 equals b to the power of 6, since 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So, you can see the answer below. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 6. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is A. Do the multiplication and division from left to right. We need to multiply negative 5 by 4, and we put parentheses around that as shown below, 
and then we need to divide 6 by 3, and we also put parentheses around that as well to make the operations a bit clearer. You can see our answer is negative 22. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 7. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is D. For questions like this one on ratios, you need to know the conversion factor. Here, our conversion factor is that 1 milligram is equal to 0 0.001 grams. If you're converting milligrams to grams, as shown in the conversion factor, you would multiply. However, if you are working the conversion factor backwards, in this case converting grams to milligrams, then we need to divide. Now be careful here, we're converting grams to milligrams. So we need to divide Now pause to read the rest of the solution. Here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 8. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is A. The total cost, or in other words, the total amount that Toby has to pay, is represented by variable C. He's paying D dollars immediately, so we can subtract that to get the equation C minus D. As shown on this screen, you can see that he then needs to divide by M months to get his final monthly payment. Let's go on to the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 9. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is D. Divide the distance traveled by the time in order to get the speed in miles per hour. In order to divide by a fraction, you need to invert the fraction and then multiply. So we have 3.6 miles divided by 3 fourths, which, when converted, is equal to 3.6 miles times 4 thirds. We then see, carrying out the operations, that 4.8 miles per hour is the correct answer. Finally, here is the Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test, question 10. Now pause to solve. Let's go to the answer. The correct answer is C. You will see questions on proportions like this one on the Accuplacer exam. If she is using 12 cups of sugar, she's using 6 times the basic amount of 2 cups. We call it the basic amount because our original proportion told us that two cups of sugar are required for every one-third cup of butter. Dividing twelve by two, we can see that she's using six times this amount. So to keep things in proportion, we need to multiply the basic amount of one-third cup of butter by six. One-third times six is equal to six divided by three which is equal to two cups of butter. We hope you have found this Accuplacer Algebra Practice Test for the Next Generation Quantitative Reasoning Algebra and Statistics exam useful. Please see our other Accuplacer videos on quantitative reasoning, in other words, data analysis, statistics, functions, advanced algebra, reading, and writing. Thanks so much for joining us, and please subscribe to our channel for more great Accuplacer practice videos.